again because I'm getting so many questions about sore bleeding gums and what to do at home during this period because you can't see a dentist. So I hope to provide something useful. Now, sore bleeding gums are a sign of inflammation. Basically, gum disease comes in varying scales. You've got mild gum disease known as gingivitis and more advanced known as periodontitis. On the one end of the scale, it's reversible and on the other end, it can be irreversible. Now, don't panic. Do book yourself in to see a dentist or a hygienist when this is all over. But at home, we can do a few things. Now, number one is invest in a good electric toothbrush. I love the Philips Sonicare. The reason why I love an electric toothbrush compared to a manual toothbrush is because improper brushing technique with a manual toothbrush can cause damage. For example, if you're brushing the wrong way, so going side to side, up and down, pushing the gums away from the teeth, you can cause recession. Also, you could be not brushing for long enough, thinking that you're doing it for two minutes, but it's only about 10 seconds. With the electric toothbrush, it usually has a timer, which means that you are brushing for the whole two minutes as you should be. Now, the electric toothbrush doesn't exert too much pressure or too little pressure, just the right amount. When you brush your teeth, you put the toothbrush half on the gums, half on the teeth. Really attractive video shot coming up right now. So brush the gums and the teeth and you press the button. Now, if you continue to bleed, do not panic and don't stop brushing because bleeding is your body telling you to brush better. So it may get a little bit worse and eventually it will resolve itself. So stick at it. Now, cleaning between your teeth is super important. So point number two, think about how you want to clean between your teeth. You can choose teepee brushes. Those are basically the little brushes that come in varying sizes that you put between your teeth. There's different sizes for the back and there's different sizes for the front. Which one suits you best, you're going to have to try and see if you can't see a dentist. You could also consider using floss. Now floss is a bit of a faff, it is on a piece of string and I can send you little videos on how to do that at home. There's also floss on little sticks to make things a little bit easier. Again, if you continue to bleed, don't panic, it will get better. I always get asked about toothpaste, which brings me on to point number three. You want a toothpaste that contains fluoride because fluoride is the active ingredient that basically helps stop tooth decay. Now, you don't want too much and you don't want too little. So ideally, you would use a pea-sized amount of toothpaste. I also love using toothpaste tablets, which I have innovated with two business partners. Now, toothpaste tablets are brilliant because they contain exactly the right ingredients so that you're not getting too much or too little of anything. So you just chew on the tablet, hydrate your toothbrush and brush accordingly. Point number four is tongue scraping. So I love a tongue scraper and I use it to remove the bacteria from the back of my tongue. So you pinch it a little bit on the ends, put it on your tongue and then pull the bacteria down. Those are my morning routines basically. So that would be brushing twice a day for two minutes, using something interdental, so teepees, floss, glide sticks, whatever Ever suits you best and using a tongue scraper. Also ensuring that you're using a fluoride-based toothpaste or toothpaste tablet.